What is going on guys? Predator 4 for Vecha and a very warm welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are back in World of Warships and today we are going to be looking at the tier 7 Japanese battleship, the Nagato. Not sure how exactly you pronounce it in Japanese. Nagato, uh, Nagato. Not sure. Um, but as I said, yeah, this is obviously the uh, successor to the Fuso. Got it right this time, not like the last video when I said predecessor and when I really meant successor. So, to me, it's kind of like, and we got an enemy battleship, but he's a little, it looks like it is a Fuso. And those are just landing short. We're going to turn away a little bit. We don't want to get within range. Uh, but this is kind of like, you know, Cleveland, Pensacola kind of situation where you go up a tier, you kind of expect the next ship, you know, to be better than its predecessor. And in some ways it's just not. Um, now this and the Fuso, they're, this is a bit more maneuverable, I think. Similar top speeds are both around 25 knots-ish, give or take. Um, but the the Nagato trades in the 14-inch guns that the Fuso has, and instead you get 16-inch guns. Unfortunately, these things actually have a... No, let's just, yeah, let's try a, <laughs> a full broadside, maybe we get lucky. But these guns actually have a slightly shorter range, even when the uh, ship is maxed out. And those were actually... I led a little bit too much, but that could have been a hit. Nice. Maybe let's try our luck again on what's that, a Cleveland. We'll take the lead, aim down a bit. And when the guns are ready, fire off another full broadside, like that. Um, but these 16-inch guns actually have a slightly shorter range. I think the, the Fuso and the Congo, when they fully upgraded, uh, and these ones look like I didn't lead quite enough, when they're fully upgraded, they pretty much have a range of 21.9 kilometers or something like that. On these ones, your range is actually about one kilometer less or so. I'm not looking at the stat cards, so forgive me if I am. Uh, if my memory is not 100%. Um, so not only is your range a little bit less than the Fuso, uh, your fire rate is slightly slower. Um, Fuso, two, round, uh, two salvos a minute. You know, basically a 30-second 30, 30 reload. This one's 32 seconds, so it's not a massive difference. And those actually, I'm bummed, those looked good. Those looked pretty good, didn't they? But uh, I guess they all landed just a little bit behind. So, 30-second reload on the Fuso versus 32 on this. It does, however, make up for it in the fact that if you do get a Citadel hit on the Fuso, I think the max AP damage is about 11,000-ish. This is a bit more, I think it might even be... Hmm. Just trying to remember what the stack card says, 16 to 18,000. But again, if I'm wrong, maybe I'll put an annotation up or you guys just know that I've uh, <laughs> got my numbers a little bit mixed up. And then finally, to cap it off, you know, the Fuso had 6 turrets, 12 guns. Here you're back to 4 turrets, 8 guns. So things on the surface don't look all that good. I think this... Uh, the successor to uh, the Nagato, the Amagi, that's going to be a bit better because that one you've got five turrets, so 10 16 inch guns, which is pretty damn good. And those, oh, and we got a set of, there we go, 13,850, so not 16,000. That seemed a little bit uh, optimistic. <laughs> um, but the Amagi, then you've got 10 16s. And that seems pretty good, so I'm quite keen for that one actually, but I need to put some serious grind time into this uh, this ship. Now is he maybe turning away a little bit? I think he's beginning a hard turn, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, and wow, we got two, the two hits, yes. The two hits while he was maneuvering, not bad at all. I do feel like I am getting better with battleship guns. 
Um, I seem to be getting quite a few more Citadel hits than I used to. Um, still not getting them all that often, but I mean, hey, when you get them, you get them, and who's going to complain? So let's let off a full broadside at that guy. Um, I know I probably shouldn't be just firing full broadsides all the time. We got one hit or negligible damage, and here we have a massive accident was the three ships managed to collide so and unfortunately mm, that that hurt 11,000 that was from that Fuso but thankfully <laughs> no Citadel hits um, yeah, he's still a big clusterfuck over there so we'll just fire a full broadside into that mess and hopefully get some decent hits let's see those are looking good four hits for 9,000 damage. I'm not sure who we damaged, <laughs> but uh, 9,000 damage, doesn't matter how it was really distributed. Um, but yeah, I found myself starting to get a bit more comfortable with all battleship guns. I think these ones, I'm not sure if it's my imagination, but they feel like they might have a higher muzzle velocity. I don't know, I, th I kind of feel like you don't have to lead quite as much as a little bit easier to hit targets. <laughs> it might be uh, my imagination, uh, but I mean there, three hits out of four for 7,500. Um, yeah, might be my imagination, but I just kind of get the feeling that these are a little bit higher muzzle velocity. Don't need to lead as much, a little bit easier to hit targets sometimes. But I do miss that overwhelming just sheer firepower that the Fuso has in terms of you know the number of shells it can put uh, down range. So we'll let off our uh, two rear turrets, see if we can hit that Fuso again. Uh, things aren't looking so good right now. We've lost a battleship and two cruisers while the enemy team um, three hits apparently. Oh, we've only said one, but I'm not going to argue. Uh, while the enemy team has only lost a single cruiser, so things are not going terribly well and most of our team almost all of our team came in a similar direction to what I did you know coming off to the I guess you say the west side of the map so that can sometimes be a good thing but it could also be problematic oh there we go another citadel hit um, we did some good damage there and oh those a lot of fire coming in, but thankfully it didn't do too much damage, but it did knock out our rear turret. And uh, this guy's shooting at us. We're going to go full rudder to starboard, but it wasn't really necessary. It was a little bit behind us on his shots, and they are capping our base. Fantastic. And our shots kind of spliced him a bit. Damn, that RNG. But yeah, I mean, look at this now. We've lost six, two battleships, three cruisers and a destroyer. Oh my god. And here comes some more shells from the Fuso. And our guns are ready, so we'll fire off a broadside. Moderate damage. And live with it. And we'll continue our turn. And thankfully we did, because those didn't hit too much. We got two hits for just under 5,000. So, we've got a war spot behind us. And I'm not sure who exactly we're going to try and mess with now. Maybe this Fuso. All four turrets are back up and ready. Looks like he's turning in a bit and slowing down. So, I don't know. They maybe led a little bit much there. But right now, instead of worrying about where we're shooting, we're just trying to get the hell out of here. Um, and we got hit, single hit for 3,000. So, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> my accuracy, my... And that has definitely improved. Still not a pro. Still not getting Citadel hits every... Uh, and he took out my rear turret again. These guys are horrible. I don't want to play with them anymore. <laughs> um... And thankfully, we have now pulled it back a bit. Four to six, we've destroyed. Uh, yeah, another Citadel hit. Man, I'm on fire. 
14,700 damage. Really good. So that's going to have messed up the Cleveland's day quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, we've pulled it back. We destroyed... Um, we've now destroyed three cruisers and a destroyer. But we're still two ships down. And that Fuso, he looks like he's going to be coming in range. We'll fire off a sneaky salvo. Yeah. T-land, I agree. Never... It's never God when all camp one side of the map. And oh, those just went harmlessly into the water. But we are now going to head straight towards our remaining uh, cruisers and that hopefully try and form a coherent force <laughs> and see what we can do. Now that cruiser is just out of range, so we're not going to worry about him. Uh, who to? I don't know if we're going to have anyone in range. We'll heal up now. And send out our scout plane to see if we can find any more targets. We've got this Cleveland. Uh, it's probably going to hit the mountain. Yeah, unfortunately. It would have been quite nice if they'd just scooted over. Could have surprised him. And this war spite is coming under fire. I'm quite keen to give the war spite a try, but for $50, they are... They are smoking. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the accuracy of his, of his guns, I've seen some, some other YouTube videos, I think I saw one by iChase Gaming. Um, and I mean, the, the grouping on the shots from that, I mean, it's just it's incredible. You know, you got these uh, Japanese battleships and their shots just go all over the freaking place. And that guy is just really, really accurate. Now, I don't know, do I want to go for that Pensacola or wait for this Cleveland? Because he's going to come out in this little strait. Got a Fuso who's not quite in range yet. Um, I think let's see if we can ruin this Cleveland's day. And there's the bow of his ship and it looks like he is going to smack into the island. Yes, there he goes. So we'll take the aim. Fire off our full salvo. Those aren't going to miss. Those are going to Five hits, <laughs> and we wrecked his face. That's what I like to see. So, this aircraft carrier is in range, but I don't want to be one of those players who sees an aircraft carrier and then just focuses on it 100%. And someone's shooting at us. We've got more important things to do right now than worry about who's shooting at us. Take the lead fire off our front two guns and then we'll begin to uh, turn to starboard and then we'll be able to adjust our aim those were a little bit in front and I don't think I maybe yes maybe one hit and a citadel hit 13-5 so four citadel hits I'm quite pleased I've missed myself right now I have to say and this Fuso is now in range so mm, we are in trouble possibly and I bring our turrets around. And is that Pensacola firing at us, or New Orleans, or whatever the hell it was? Take some light damage. Fire off our full broadside at the enemy battleship. And here come all of his shells. Shot down a plane. And we hit him four times for 10,900. He hit us for 9,8. And he knocked out my freaking turrets again. I think I need to go and put that uh, one of those module upgrade thingies on to try and make my turrets survive because these things seem a little on the fragile side, wouldn't you say? Oh, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've had a Fuso turret knocked out, but these things, is this the third time in the match? <laughs> well, but at least every time they've knocked it out it's been repairable, so it hasn't been gone completely. We've shot down another plane. And just bring all our guns to bear, see if we can find, there he is. Head off a full broadside, see if we're lucky. Now I'm going to turn hard to starboard and sort of loop back around that island. And those look, uh, one hit for 465, they were a little bit high. But the lead was good, and that's important. <laughs> now we're going to turn, continue our turn to starboard, we're going to loop back around this island. I don't want to continue on straight because then we're going to 
um, go straight into the, the Fuso's line of fire. And uh, see if we can maybe get some sneaky shots off here. Let's fire the two rear turrets and straight into the mountain, of course. Why wouldn't they? It's now 5 7. We have two battleships left, they have three. Two cruisers, one cruiser on their side, one aircraft carrier on, on ours, and two on the other team. So, while we've managed to sort of pull this match back, I don't see it going our way. And fire the two rear turrets at where we kind of think that cruise is going to be. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit him. And no, no such luck. But aircraft carrier is being awfully brave. I suppose he is in the area, same sort of area as his Fuso friend. So 10Ks, this should be interesting. Uh, we must have to see if we, maybe we can... Ooh, that guy got messed up. Hopefully the Fuso, yeah, he is pointing straight towards us, so we only have to deal with two of his guns, but he will no doubt start turning immediately to bring all his guns to bear on us. And uh, funnily enough, one of the areas I am struggling with battleships is um, this close-range fire. I'm so used to leading targets at distance. When we get up close like this, as you can see, I managed to screw up like the easy shots. Uh, but we have taken out turrets. I'm guessing those are secondaries, though. Hopefully, took out a primary or two. And 3,000 damage. We're almost reloaded and ready to start shooting at him again. But yeah, we've lost more ships now. See, and those are going to splice either side of him. Oh, those do. 3,000 and now our secondary batteries are opening up hopefully our secondary guns are a bit better than his but this is not good we've got a ooh, 7,000 damage we've got another battleship uh, coming around the uh, island on our port side so we've now got two battleships who are going to focus fire on us but our guns are almost reloaded again so let's fire you know, maybe there And 7,000 damage, quite nice. And fired three turrets. We'll fire the last one, another 900. We are up and set on fire. Oh, we're down less than half health. And I don't think our guns are going to reload in time, and we can't see him anymore. Kind of want to go full reverse, but I think that's going to be stupid, so. Uh, let's just carry on and oh my word that was hard that was a heavy heavy hit and oh well oh, goodbye <laughs> uh, it was never going to end terribly well uh, but we've only got a crew uh, a destroyer and an aircraft carrier left so let's head off to the results Right, so unfortunately, <laughs> you know, that didn't go quite as well as we, as we would have hoped. Uh, I think the other team just worked together better than we did. Um, but still, it was a pretty good match in terms of results for me. I haven't played the uh, Nagato too much, but I am starting to come around and enjoying it as a ship, you know, rather than looking at it as a poor <clears throat> poor successor to the Fuso. So off to the results quickly. We got 46 hits, which I'm quite pleased about. Four Citadel hits. Uh, seems to be getting better at finding them now, which is quite nice. We shot down 13 planes, critically damaged ships 10 times, but only managed uh, one kill. But still, we got 228,999 silver, 1,515 uh, research points and 75 convertible research we came 
Yeah, we came first on our team. In fact, we came first overall, which is quite nice. Uh, we did, wow, 128,361 armor piercing damage. Uh, 5,293 from our secondary batteries. So yeah, it's not actually too often I go over the 100,000k damage mark in a battleship. But despite that not going quite according to plan, I still rather enjoyed that. Um, it's good fun. Yeah, you know, feel like I'm starting to get a better handle on battleships now. But that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and maybe consider subscribing for more World of Warships content as well as War Thunder and a few other things when I feel like playing them. But yeah, as I said, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for stopping by. This is Predator458 signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.